Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're reviewing this Rackmate TT by a company called DeskPi. This is a 5U server rack for home lab use cases. This rack is mainly geared towards home labbers that are either running mini PCs or Raspberry Pis. This is designed to keep your setup clean, compact, and modular. In this video, I'll show you how to assemble this from scratch and test it out with a couple of my own mini PCs just to see how this will perform and see if it's actually worth getting this for a home lab setup. All right, so let's go ahead and unbox this and see what's inside. I also happen to have an additional seven inch uh, rack for this. So let's see what we get inside. The good part about this is that you can use it as a seven inch rack or a 10 inch rack if you have it in a horizontal mode. All right, so everything you need comes packaged inside this box. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up. So the first thing we get are the instruction manual. So, you know, in order for us to assemble everything, all the information should be prepackaged in here and all documented in this help guide. All right, next we have is the plexiglass that will go on the sides of this Rackmate TT. So we have two of those. Go ahead and remove this. So I guess we have some, you know, different things, some handles. We have the full overall framework. And we also happen to have all the screwdrivers and all the tools that we need to do this. I really like this part because it's really convenient that we have everything to get started and get going. And lastly, we have the seven inch rack and we have the screws and the screwdrivers themselves. So I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling this now. So just to cover the quick install, first thing you have to do is install these four legs to the metal frame. Step two is that you gotta install these acrylic sides onto the side. So it's very simple, you just drop it in like so. And now you can install the side plexiglasses, which again, Everything is pretty much, you know, covered in uh, this uh, brown paper, which is sort of annoying to remove, but I guess they are being eco-friendly and not using plastic, so kudos for that. All right, just slide that in. And that's pretty much it for assembling the Rackmade TT. From here, you can install your handles depending on how you want to use it. So you could use it this way, which is horizontal, or you could use it vertically. So if you have a bunch of mini PCs, I think using it vertically is probably the better option here. If I'm going to use this for my Minis Forum uh, MSA2, then I would rather go horizontal and then have the Minis Forum like this. But if I'm using something like a B-Link uh, S13 or something like that, then I can go vertical. And if you're going to install the handles on the top, like I am, you gotta use these washers so that I guess there's some sort of, you know, gap that needs to be filled with these. Once we have that, the handles are properly installed and they look, you know, pretty sturdy. So next thing we're gonna do is install the legs. And by that, I mean these rubber stoppers that act as feet so that, you know, it doesn't scratch your surfaces and it's got some space between the floor or the surface. All right, so now that it's all assembled, next thing we gotta do is install our racks. So this by default comes with two racks and DeskPy was kind enough to send me one more rack. So what I'm going to do is basically show you how to set up three mini PCs on this rack. Now let's talk about the build quality and the design for a second. The Rackmate TT uses aluminum frame and it uses, you know, these, uh, I call it plexiglass and they call it uh, acrylic side panels, which are solid and lightweight, you know? It makes it really easy to handle this and move it around. And overall the construction is aluminum so it won't bend or, you know, get damaged. Also these side panels let you see inside what's happening behind the scenes, which is sort of cool. And also the top and bottom panels have ventilation so air can easily pass through. I do plan on putting like a, a small network switch somewhere around here and maybe some small power connector here so that everything can be hooked up and ready to go. 
but I am waiting on a couple of parts until then. Now let's talk about some cooling or air cooling. Open frame design does a very good job with passive cooling, but if your stuff is running hot, you could add some additional fans to pass through the air. Luckily in my case, my mini PCs blow air straight out. So I do not see having those issues unless if I have something here like a router or a switch that would start blocking it. Even after installing my power supply and plugging stuff in, I am able to still get some good, decent airflow going on the back as all the air is gonna get pushed out. All right, so in my configuration, I have my B-Link S13 Mini, I have my Mini's Forum UN1250, and I have the M4 Mac Mini. Now, I don't have one additional rack, but if I had one additional rack, I could easily install like a network switch. Uh, that would be, you know, very beneficial. And on the back, I think there is enough space where I can add some uh, power supply, like a small power supply, so that everything is all together in one place and all we would have is one plug that connects. Now, you can go 3D printing route and I've seen a lot of people, you know, custom print a lot of different things for this, which is sort of awesome, but I just don't have a 3D printer lying around, so I can't do that. All right, let's talk about what I actually like about the Rackmate TT. Here are some quick pros. First benefit for me is how easy it is to organize everything. Previously, all these mini PCs were lying around my home office and some were just, you know, tucked in a shelf somewhere. Now I have it neatly arranged and I can easily plug them in and run them together all at the same time. And I even can put a network switch in there without a problem. Although I don't have one right now and the one that I do have does not fit in here. Also, if I space these out evenly, I think I can fit one more mini PC in here without any issues. I do like the fact that the layout is super flexible. You can use it in the seven inch mode like I am right now, or if you flip it to the side, you can use it in a 10 inch mode. And with that mode, you can actually use the Minis Forum MSA2 and a full regular size eight port router with this. Do remember to do that, you will have to buy the 10 inch racks that do not come with this setup. This mainly comes with seven inch racks. You can also stack multiple of these and create a own cluster if you would like. So if you're mainly looking to reduce your clutter, organize your mini home lab, your PCs or Raspberry Pis, then this definitely fits that bill. One thing I will say is that you will have to tinker around to get things in here, like a small switch and power supply and managing all the cables and everything. So it will be a little challenging at times, but I think you should be able to find the right parts and get everything hooked up. All right, so let's talk about some cons or the things I don't like. First thing is that this is a niche product. It's made for a very specific group of home labbers running either mini PCs or Raspberry Pis and that have compact network gear because my network gear won't fit in here. And since this is a seven inch rack, finding compatible accessories is sort of hard unless you go the 3D printing route. Now, most of the users that are using this Rackmate TT are using 3D printing to print off their custom parts, which is sort of awesome, but I just don't have a 3D printer lying around, so I can't do that. So for people like me, the out of box experience is sort of limited unless if I have a 3D printer or I can get one to print something for me. Overall, this looks clean with solid materials and good airflow right out of the box. And overall, this should work in anyone's home lab without any issues. Well, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe and share. Also, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see or if you have any questions about this. Let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Until next time, I'll see you in my next video.